Following a settlement that will take place in the upcoming days and weeks, analysts formally declare that $10,000 per XRP is very rational. It has been made evident that the SEC has not met the conditions to even discuss or debate an appeal for the SD Ripple loss, as was claimed in an article. The Ripple CEO has also stated that a settlement is on the table in a recent interview from back in July, in which he made it clear that Ripple is open to reaching a settlement with the SEC if XRP, in and of itself, is the NAD security, not only to retail investors, for which they have already received Judge Annalisa Torr's approval, but also for institutional investors, which is something Ripple XRP is currently specifically considering as they battle the SEC. Settlement is necessary in this situation. However, the value of XRP increasing is also what is at stake, and this is what we all care about. Settlement is not the only factor at play. The chief legal officer of Ripple, or CLO, actually states in this article that Ripple has just discovered its opposition to the SEC's request for an Interlux Tree Interoma appeal with the Reed Emo. My personal favorite footnotes in FFN5 are where they claim that there isn't even their required information from the SEC that even recognizes that an appeal should take place, and on top of this, it also directs us back to settlement news that really the SEC never intended for, and in fact, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, which recently opened a secret meeting scheduled for September 7th, has confirmed this as well. We're keeping a careful eye on this. You probably already know what they're talking about in this meeting, but we'll remind you that it's scheduled for September 7, 2023, at 2 p.m. Remotely, Eastern Standard Time here is what will be discussed. Establishment and Resolution of Injunctive Action Institution of Administrative Proceedings and the Resolution Resolution of Claims and Litigation and Other Issues Concerning Exam Enforcement Proceedings. Does this not imply that Ripple and the SEC will reach a settlement? Boy, oh boy. That's not all, though. The big price increase that XRP is poised to experience and, of course, the rest of the wacky information are only the beginning of the settlement. And they all point back to the reality that XRP's value will soar because, at the end of the day, people enjoyed Ripple. I like Ripple personally, but at the end of the day, I'm investing in XRP in the hopes that its value will increase so that I may profit from it. This video is about this. Why would the value of XRP increase? Where is the evidence? I'm going to show you the data, and it will make clear to you that based on what we can see, XRP will likely soar to a value of at least a few hundred dollars, if not thousands or even tens of thousands of dollars. Because the numbers support it, we're looking at bigger numbers in this case like 100, 200, 1 million, or 10,000. Who else is referencing settlement? Not me, but an official lawyer, and this is no ordinary lawyer. Rather, this is a lawyer who is going in with 75,000 XRP holders behind his back and has been involved in the Ripple STL lawsuit, in which he details that the Ripple SEC settlement path during the Coinbase case is inevitable, and that there is a highly likely scenario where even if an appeal were possible, a settlement would be the only logical option that would take place as an appeal would only diminish the chances of success. According to what he states, and I quote Judge Farolina's decision that token sales on an exchange in a blind bid slash transaction do not fall under U.S. law will allow Ripple and the SEC to reach a settlement before the end of the year. Monetary Regulation The XRP community has reiterated in another tweet this year that a resolution of the Ripple STL litigation is necessary and is soon to take place. I seem to remember Ripple claiming that a settlement would happen almost immediately if the SEC decided that XRP is not a security. The court has now ruled that XRP itself is not a security, and this was acknowledged in the company's most recent court filing. So what stands in the way of a resolution to the outstanding dispute? The fact of the matter is that nothing is really a problem right now. In the settlement clause, I believe Ripple will request that the SEC not only not classify XRP as a security to institutional investors, but also not classify it as a security in itself. This is something we already know is almost certain to occur due to the event that will take place on September 29, 2023. But we'll go into that later in the video to explain why this will affect XRP's value because it will undoubtedly affect the currency's pricing. As a result, XRP will increase, but we'll cover this in more detail later in the movie. Moving on to the following point, and this is where things really get serious for the value of XRP, David Shorts, the chief technology officer of Ripple, predicts that XRP will eventually replace the US dollar as the global reserve currency. Do you believe it won't happen if David Shorts, the CEO of Ripple, declares that XRP will realistically replace the USD as the global reserve currency? Evidently, it will, and as a result, experts are moving forward. This was just nine minutes ago, by the way. Analysts claim that $10,000 or more per XRP is a logical collusion. $10 in XRP is insufficient to bridge the entire amount of money. 
To reiterate, this is not the first time we have seen an article with pretty rational and practical specialists making such claims. Who else believes that $10,000 per XRP is a reasonable price, and that it is impossible to buy XRP for $10,000? As you might have guessed, is Ripple's co-founder, Arthur Brio, who believes that XRP has a potential value of $10,000 and must be scalable to accommodate 7.5 billion people globally. This statement is clearly cited by Ripple Labs co-founder Arthur Brito. Consider it this way, as said by Arthur Brito. You can hear it from Ripple and from a lot of high-ranking officials. You know these financial professionals are openly declaring that $10,000 per XRP is the only sensible choice. It is illogical for XRP to trade below $10,000. Do you anticipate it will be less than $10,000? Not at all, and if it does, it will only last a short while. It informed the financial institutions, banks, states, and Bryce countries that they would be using XRP, and we have produced films, discussed it, and provided evidence to support this. The value of $10,000 is quite logical as long as those countries continue to use XRP. Everything to support it is there. The logic, the values, the data, everything. And it only makes sense. Just ask yourself why Ripple Labs would enter the real estate market to tokenize real estate. Do you not realize how big this industry is? It is, however, Ripple that is assuming control since they are aware that XRP is not a security in and of itself and that their coin will have high values and be able to manage the tokenization of the real estate market. In reality, there has been a lot of talk recently about the huge cooperation that will be announced between Ripple and the Rencom network. This partnership, which will involve two enormous companies, Ripple and the Rencom Network, will be one of the biggest partnerships in history. I'll now give you guys a little summary of this company because it is very large and because, like the Ripple company, it is collaborating with the Republic of Palau. The Rencom Network is a rentable asset company that has registered in more than 120 countries. The primary goal is to hold a large number of rentable assets, such as homes, cars, and other things. The important point is that they only accept RMT as payment from tenants, and in return, they receive 10% of their rent if they pay on time. The Rankum Network has properties in Japan, Europe, and a lot of other countries, and they need to facilitate their payments back to their main headquarters, which is, I believe, in Canada or the United States, one of them. They also need to facilitate this payment of rent back to their main headquarters, which is in the United States or Canada. This massive partnership between Ripple and the Rankum Network will be at the point of cross-border payment. Naturally then, how are they going to accomplish this? They currently employ, I believe, a SWIFT system or this payment method, both of which, as you guys are aware, are really out of date, but what other options do they have? The RippleNet system is the most efficient because it's cheap, and as you guys know, that is important specifically for a massive rentable asset company. They want cheap, and they want a company that is also relatively knowledgeable within the space, the crypto space, and so they have that. Right now with Ripple, and I'm guessing that they met in the Republic of Palau because, as you guys can see, Rencom officially entered into Phase 1 discussion with the Republic of Palau for the implementation of RT for government rentable assets. So my prediction is that they're meeting in the Republic of Palau, and look here at the very bottom. After doing some research, they're going to announce a partnership on September 25th, which is around the same time that the Ripple party is going to happen. A lot of people have been speculating that the IPO might happen. The partnership and the settlement news may happen again. We're not guaranteed, and again, this is not financial advice. As a matter of fact, I bought into Ernt, their native token, because over the last couple days they have been pumping like mad. I think they were up about 3,000% in the last week and about 2,3,000% in the last month. And the craziest part is they're still in their pilot program. So they just recently switched over to this crypto system, where now they only allow renters to pay an Ernt token and now they're testing it on a small group of the renters. Now imagine they fully scale this to all of the renters, which they did make it clear that they plan to do so. And they exponentially do it, they grow their business, they allow all the renters to pay. Imagine if a small portion pumped the price to one zero 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 percent in the last month, imagine how much percentage you're going to see increase if they do it to all of the renters. And this is where things become, you know, on a larger scale, where the real money is made, and this is why my goal is to be an early investor. So I've personally bought into this coin a lot, but I'm telling my friends about it. I'm showing them it. I'm telling them the technology is there. Literally, when you see that information that XRP is going to go up and back and that XRP is going to be the world reserve currency, it gets you excited. And this is why I love this coin. This is why, as you know, I'm always showing my enthusiasm for XRP and the technology by wearing my Ripple XRP cap. You can get it on metalcrypto.com, but I'm wearing this cap on me every time I walk because, truly, guys, it is so nice to look back.
You know me around your desk and you see your XRP crypto coin and you just look at it and you say, hey, maybe XRP's current value is 50 cents, but the true value is not 50 cents. It's 500 or 1,000 or $10,000 per XRP. This is what I love about XRP. I see the hidden value in it that nobody else sees. I appreciate you watching my fellow cryptography nerds and I'll see you again soon.